Hi, I'm Nina, and today I'm going to tell you about happy atoms. I love sharing resources that help cultivate intrinsic motivation for kids to want to be curious and learn, because that's how meaningful learning happens. And today I'm going to tell you about happy atoms. Happy atoms is a manipulative that represents atoms and shows how the bonds work. And then there's this app that interfaces with it. You take a picture and select your atoms and it tells you what that molecule is. This is put out for the high school age, but it is graphic and intuitive enough that a young child can pick it up and follow their interest and discover more. It's really fun to be able to discover them. You can follow along on the app to have it teach you how each molecule is constructed, or you can try and put your own together and take a picture and see what it is. It's kind of fun to discover what they are. Molecule belt! Oh! It is something! I made a molecule! Molecule belt! It's something! What did I make? What did I make? Carbon monoxide? I uncovered another frontier molecule. Wow. The other thing is, as you have discovered molecules, it tells you little secrets of how things work. It labels what kind of bonds they are, and um, it's a really good hands-on resource. This is Happy Atoms. It teaches about atoms and molecules, like how atoms combine to form molecules. So. So there are atom so there are these things that represent atoms inside it. I love it. This is how you make water. I got two see, I've got two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. See? Look, I made water. My favorite part about the game is you have two scientists to choose from. Harper is a boy, and Andy's a girl. Andy gets more organic things, so you should definitely pick Andy. Happy Atoms is an awesome resource, and if you're interested in more resources, check my link below. I have a list of different games and manipulatives and shows and things that we use that make learning fun. If you found this video helpful, Subscribe to Intrinsic, because meaningful learning is driven by desire from within. I have a double bond, so it's just two single bonds. Oxygens have eight protons, eight electrons, and eight neutrons. Oxygen has one proton, one electron, and I've heard that they can combine to form capsi that some of them can combine to form capsaicin, which is found in peppers, which is the molecule that makes them hot. So this is sodium, and this is chlorine. When they're together, they make sodium chloride. Ooh, what kind of bond is that? It's called a long bond. Okay.